Hi, I'm Matt Taylor. Welcome to the Antique Photons Observatory Report. Hi, this is a review of the Meat Instruments Series 5000 80mm ED Apo. First thing I'd like to tell you about this telescope is that it does have a brass compression ring draw tube. The focuser is a single speed, non rotating focuser. It does operate just as smooth as butter. The focuser knobs are machined aluminum. They do have the ridges all the way around so that you have a positive grip. And you can probably see in the video that they also have some very nice engraving. Makes for a really nice touch. On the bottom of the focuser, here you can see the lock bolt and the tension bolt. The next thing I'd like to show you is that Mead opted to not use a rotating focuser. What they did instead is they've installed a rotating ring right here. It's uh, blue anodized with some really nice silver accents and it has a locking screw. When I first received the telescope, there was a dovetail mounted to the ring, and if you use that dovetail to mount this telescope to your mount, then you don't have a rotating focuser, but you do have a rotating telescope. So that will allow you to put your eyepiece in a more comfortable viewing position, or it will allow you to frame your imaging targets in your camera. Fully collapsed, this telescope is a quite small package. I'm going to measure it for you here. From tip to tip, this is about 16 inches. So this would be a good telescope to travel with. I'm sure it would fit in any airliner's overhead compartment. The lens cap here is metal and it's uh, anodized. It's black and it screws on and off. And the dew shield is one of the retractable type. The sliding action is firm but smooth. And if I pull it all the way out here and try to wiggle it, there's practically no wiggle at all. The optic on this telescope is an 80 millimeter ED optic. It is a triplet. It's multi-coated. This is an F6 optic, 480 millimeters in focal length. Now, I've had this telescope for some time now and I've used it for viewing, I've used it for imaging, and I've also used it for auto guiding. What I can tell you about it uh, for viewing is that it provides some beautiful wide field views. They are not 100% color free as you would find in a true apochromatic refractor, but they are very close to being fully color free. The telescope is better corrected for CA than some other 80 millimeter EDs that I've looked through. For imaging, it provides a really nice wide field. Uh, it's pretty easy to image some of the larger nebulas in this telescope. And for auto guiding, uh, it seems to work just fine. I've had no trouble with it at all. When I mount this telescope, I use the Los Mandy ring system. And it's worked out really well for me. I can recommend this telescope. This has been my video review of the Mead Series 5000 80 millimeter ED Apo. Thanks for watching. And the last thing I'd like to tell you about the Mead Series 5000 80 millimeter ED Apo is that it has a very high build quality. The baffling inside is beautifully done and I really like the scope. I think it looks great and I think it performs really well. Before we go, I'd like to say congratulations to Peter Clausen. He's the winner of the Mead DSI Advanced Yahoo Group's February Imaging Contest. This is Pete's photo up here on the screen behind me. 
he made this photo with one of the Mead DSi cameras and he did a great job. Again, thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you here again next time.